In this video, I'm going to offer a uh, question. I have a building here. This commercial building, south here, north here, west here, east there. In this building, I have offices all along the perimeter. These all have outside walls, windows, you know, I didn't put windows in there, but uh, there's windows in all these walls and they're exposed to the outside. Now, I've also got cubicles inside. And the cubicle area, in fact, the whole area here, has no exposure to the outside. I've also got a copy machine. Kind of dead center. So how am I going to heat and cool this building? Mostly cool. Uh, south facing windows are going to have a fair amount of solar gain. West facing will probably have more solar gain. Uh, east facing will have morning solar gain, but it doesn't ever seem like east facing is as bad as west facing for solar gain. So out here, if I'm cooling, I'm going to have very high load in the afternoon here, fairly low load here in the afternoon, reversed in the morning. South will have some, depending on how far north you are. Uh, of course, this is all reversed if you're in Australia, but it still works. Uh, so the south facing here, if you're in uh, way down south in the U.S., it's not quite as much as it will be in the afternoon because the sun will be coming straight through. And that solar gain is a huge piece. But what other loads are there here? Well, there's going to be people all around here. In these offices, there is a people load, and kind of depends on what they're doing. It could be anywhere from 800 BTUs per hour to uh, 1,500 to 3,000 if you're at a rock concert. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, so there's going to be loads all through here. There's going to be maybe some CRT, computer CRTs here. Not too many of those left, but there's other products in there that are going to contribute to the load. Same thing with computers here. This is a monster here. This is a copy machine. Those things use energy like no tomorrow. And all the energy that's used inside here becomes heat at some point. So the loads in this building are variable. In the summer, the load from outside is going to be very low in the north side. Uh, but, as I said, east and west and south are going to have higher loads. These in the center always need cooling. There's virtually no time of the year that you're not cooling inside here. Okay, so how can we solve this problem? Because, let's say it's a middle of winter. This area here needs air conditioning. These areas out here may not need any air conditioning at all. Probably won't. Cold weather if it's cold enough. But these are always going to need air conditioning. And these may need heat. So what are you going to do to make this work without breaking the bank on the electric meter? Well, the next video, I'm going to show you a system that it's not new by any means. Been out there for a long time. But one of the ways that we can solve this problem.